Hello. Hello, everyone. Uh, thank you for having us. Um, we are part of the Graduate School of International Studies as well. I'm Alessandro, I'm from Italy. I'm the president of the Student Council here. And these are my friends and colleagues. So uh, we're gonna give you like a very brief introduction to what the Student Council does. I'm gonna talk about the Student Council and then we will have like the members of uh, different societies. Uh, as you guys can see, we have uh, three different societies here at GSIS. And they're going to explain what they do and what can we offer to you guys. So as I mentioned, we have these three societies. Uh, so I'm representing the Student Council as the president, but we also have like a uh, European Union Society. And PJ is going to talk about it today. Uh, the Human Rights Society, Kiki, is going to talk about it. She's the president of the Human Rights Society. And East Asian Society, Min Jong, she's going to talk about it. She's the vice president, if I'm correct. So this is us, me, Martina, and PJ. We are the student council. And uh, these are our contacts, uh, Kakao and email. If you guys have any like uh, inquiries or any, um, any questions, you can like uh, write down our Kakao and send, send us a Kakao talk. Or like you can talk to us after, like, after the presentation and we can like explain to you more in details everything that we do. Um, so what is the Student Council? I'm, I think you guys are familiar with what the Student Council does at universities. So basically like we just uh, work as a um, uh, mean between the fac faculty and the student body. So if the student body has some issues or some complaint, we will listen and then refer to the, to the, to the faculty. We also have like uh, our office upstairs in the fourth floor. And usually students come there to hang out and study or eat with us. And, um, but we do mainly organize events, and uh, especially at the beginning of the semester, when we have orientation and the membership training, also known as MT. We are the one dealing with it, and we organize it, and we raise the money for it. And it's basically, uh, I think you guys know what MT is, but it's basically like a night out where like uh, students get to know each other, especially first semesters, and we have some games, and it's a socializing event, right? Um, and then we have other events, but I'm gonna like explain to you more in details in the next slides. So um, right now we have these two projects going on. Since it's already like a midterm week, we've done, uh, we've been uh, doing a lot. So we've done with MT and other stuff, but now we have these two main events that they are uh, upcoming. The first one is uh, Ko Young John, which is, I think maybe you guys know, it's like a sport day with Yonsei, our rivals. And um, Seoul GSAS Union, uh, I'm gonna explain more in details in the next slide. It's a, it's a partnership that we made, us three, this semester uh, with other six universities. Okay, so Seoul GSAS Union. Um, me, Martina, and PJ, we managed to uh, have a meeting with uh, this other uh, GSIS. So Sogang, Yonsei, Seoul National University, Chungang, and Iwa University. And we reached a deal with, this, uh, with these schools, and we basically like, uh, are working together these days in promoting uh, events, joint events, and activities. Um, it's very interesting because we created like a Facebook group, a Facebook page, it's a private uh, group. And in this page, we share our lectures at Korea University. So the students from the other GSIS are invited and, and, and they do the same to us. So it's very interesting because if there's like an interesting uh, lecture at uh, Seoul National University, we can go as well now. Uh, we also, uh, when possible, uh, share internship. So. Again, if Yonsei or Sogang, they have like some internship that you might not know about. Uh, now with Seoul GSS Union, this is possible and you reach a broader audience, right? And, uh, and then yes, we, we also have like uh, light events. So we go out and socialize with the other students and uh, maybe in either one or on them. And um, these are like uh, two events that um, this one we just uh, we just did last uh, this coming uh, this past week. The other one uh, it was an upcoming event, but um, 
it has to be delayed because of raining. So the first one was basically like um, we invited students from the other six, uh, the other five universities, and we were like um, it's it's a language exchange. So Martina was uh, representing Italy, so he, she was uh, talking about Italy, and uh, there w there were like a tiger. She was talking about Thailand, and it was very interesting. We had like a lot of people coming from. Uh, uh, Chungang and uh, Yonsei, and it was very interesting. And the other one, it's another example of event, and um, it's basically like just a picnic where like we meet up with the other student council and the students, and we just mingle and get to know each other, right? And Koyon Jong, uh, don't read the first one, but um, it's basically like um, a day where like we meet with Yonsei. Uh, last semester I was here at Korea University. This semester is going to be at Yonsei. And uh, we have like these um, sport events and we compete with each other, right? And hopefully this semester we'll win. Because last semester I think we lost. Ah, we won, okay. We lost the, the main one. So. Uh, yeah, and also of course it's an opportunity to hang out with the students from Yonsei, which are very nice. And now we can, like, uh, I'm done with the student council. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And now the members of societies will tell you about what society do. Thank you. Uh, hello, guys. Um, my name is Kang Minjong, and I'm a second semester, and I'm a vice president of East Asia Society. So it's really nice to see you guys here in GSIS. So, um, uh, let me introduce uh, East Asia Society. So basically, it's a platform of platform for a group of students uh, <laughs> who have interest in East Asia, like including ASEAN countries. So we do have a weekly meeting and have a discussion about um, some current interesting topics in East Asia, and that is led by one of the members and who volunteered to be a discussion leader in each week. So that presenter had a presentation, and at the end of the presentation, they will give kind of uh, discussion questions. So for, uh, so the, for the members, and can, uh, so the members can participate in the debate. So, and then the, each meeting has dinners, uh, and there is several field trips. So this is the leadership for the semester. The guy in the middle who is from Thailand, his name is Jason, and he's the president of this society. And the left side is Evie from Netherlands, and she's the vice president. Both of them having a class now. And the right side is me. My name is Kang Min Jung, and I'm Korean, and I'm a vice president of this society. So let's see what EAS actually do. Uh, like, basically, we are talking about some topics uh, related to any topics related with Asia, uh, East Asia. So these are some topics we already discussed uh, for this semester. So the first one is about uh, um, the the Pyeongchang 2018 Olympics and its politics. The second one is about the polygamy in Indonesia, and the third one is history of Tang Dynasty in China. So these are some pictures showing our like kind of climate when we're having a discussion. So you can see the, the presentations led by like many GSI students, uh, like led by GSI students from Netherlands and Thailand and China. So we do have many uh, students from uh, different background. Um, after the discussion activity, we do have a, we provide a dinner for the mem members. So, uh, which is my favorite time. And the first picture, we went to, uh, we had a T-Mac beers and chicken together uh, at the lawn in, the, in front of the main gate of the school. And we also went to Chinese, Vietnamese, and Thai restaurant. And this is field trips. Uh, we went to like Cherry Blossom Festival and so Lantern Festivals. So for this semester, we're planning to have five field trips. And two weeks ago, we had first field trips where, uh, uh, first field trip, it was, uh, we went to the, uh, 
Cherry Blossom Festival in Tamshil Station, like you know the Sokton Lake. And so finally, these are some benefits you will get from joining EAS. Like so, EAS is a great upper uh, is kind of platform to provide opportunity to know more each other in GSIS and um, you can not only share and enhance your knowledge from members and can also but also get kind of tips and advice related to the courses and you can also broaden your new I your idea and can be inspired by new topics and, and lastly you can improve your public speaking and presentation skills. So this is all about our society, and I'd like to see you guys soon in the near future or in the next semester. So thank you for your listening. And good luck for everything. Okay. Um, so hello, everyone. Um, my name is Kirsty, and I'm the president of the Human Rights Society. So I'll just give you a little talk about the Human Rights Society and what we do. Okay. Um, so yes, so here are the committee members of the Human Rights Society. So that's me. Uh, and then we have Martina when she used to be a brunette. <laughs> um, and then we have Pamela and Maha who couldn't be here today. Um, but they're also valued members of the committee. Um, okay. So we're going to skip that bit. That was a video when I couldn't be at the orientation. Um, and basically, I'll just cover what the video covers. Um, so reasons to join the Human Rights Society. So I think pretty similar to East Asia Society as well. Um, so number one, um, it's a CV or resume booster. Um, so I think it, it's very easy to kind of get trapped in the bubble of just studying and all work and no play. Um, but actually, on your CV, um, if you have some kind of extracurricular activities, it does look a little better. Um, so it's always good to add some of these um, societies onto your CV. Um, but then also as well, not just for your CV, but for your personal life, it is a great way to make friends and meet new people. Um, and so, especially these days, I find it very difficult. There is midterms coming up, and um, I think, like a lot of people, I'm stressed and studying loads. But um, the Human Rights Society reminds me to have somewhat of a social life. Um, and so it's a good way to join others and make friends. Um, but then also, coming back to your career and your studies, it is a good networking opportunity. Um, so by meeting other people, you might meet people that have different connections um, that are related to internships or volunteering experience or things you, you're not even aware of that would be quite helpful. So you never know who you're going to meet and how that might um, help you both in your career fields. Um, and then we have, we like to have debates about pertinent issues. So just recently we had a debate about um, human rights in light of the Facebook and Cambridge Analytica scandal and as we're moving forwards with technology what that means for us with our human rights um, and so it's it's quite interesting to have debates about current issues um, and then also we had a debate about the legalization of prostitution um, which is quite a hot topic at the moment um, and an organization I used to work for in Colombia, this is in Colombia right now, they're debating this. Um, and the um, and so being able to debate these issues with other people is, is really important. Um, and then we also, we organized some trips around Seoul. So recently we went to another different Cherry Blossom Festival. Um, and hopefully coming up in May, I'm going to organize a trip to um, a museum which is, um, I've forgotten the name of it, but it's basically an experience where everything is in dark um, and you can kind of experience what it's like to be a blind person. Um, and we quite often, we um, sort of take for granted if you don't have a disability, um, all the things that aren't available or things that are difficult for people that do have disabilities. Um, 
So hopefully that will be coming up in May. And, um, and last semester, we also had a trip to the National um, History Museum in Seoul, um, talking about important issues um, in the past of the uh, people's right to protest. Um, and there was a trip to, um, there was a safety, safety foundation, did a women's self-defense workshop. Um, and so, yeah, we have various uh, workshops around Seoul. Um, and then, yes, like the East Asia Society, dinner is included. Um, and so that's just another reason to join. Um, so, yeah, and then also we offer the chance if people have a, a topic that they want to talk about or a presentation they'd like to practice, then they can join us um, and use the society as an opportunity to practice their presentation and gain valuable feedback beforehand. Um, and because the topics are relevant to your classes, it, it, yeah, you do find that it is useful to talk about these topics um, and kind of refresh and consolidate the information that you're learning in the classroom, but in an applicable way and perhaps gain a different perspective. So many reasons to join the society. Um, and again, there's just um, some of the, um, the questions we might ask, for example, big, big questions. <laughs> so human rights, are they real? Who defines them? Um, what are we doing to protect them? Um, do they matter? Uh, this year in particular is the 70th anniversary of the Declaration of Human Rights. And I think as many people are aware, um, we still have so many human rights abuses um, being committed around the world. And so that means that now more than ever, it's really important for people to come together and discuss why this is and why certain um, human rights mechanisms aren't working. Um, so. I think in particular human rights is an issue that um, is important for societies to be spreading awareness and getting together for. Um, and yes, yeah, some, um, some of the talks that we've had last semester, um, one of the students, one of the members, she did her dissertation on um, sex trafficking and military camp towns in South Korea, so that was a really interesting presentation. Um, we also talked about LGBTQ rights in South Korea. We had um, a really interesting debate with the Euro Society on the refugee crisis. Um, and another person gave a talk on the Olympics and with the, the Winter Olympics coming. So we talked about Olympics human rights abuses um, and lots of other topics. So um, yes, I think that was everything. So hopefully, yes, if you do join us at GSIS, we look forward to seeing you at the Human Rights Society. Um, and yes, we normally meet on Tuesdays at 5 p.m. in room 217. <laughs> so thank you very much. Hello everyone, my name is uh, Oh sang -in, or PJ as my friends call me, and uh, I'm in, uh, representing the EU Society today, as well as the SC. And uh, they apologize for not adding pictures of the leaders. Um, they couldn't be with us because they have class. But there are three handsome men who go by the name of Jarl, uh, Sebastian, and uh, Fahad. So basically what they do is, uh, what it is, is they're under the supervision of the KU, KIP, SKCU Center. So there's a whole program dedicated to us. And I believe there's a whole uh, EU office that is uh, ded dedicated to us. And it aims to provide students with opportunities to actively participate in scholarly presentations and discussions on Europe and, uh, and other related topics that we might be interested in. So the members will have activities to engage in activities run by the KU EU Center here like conferences, seminars, and like speeches from uh, uh, people from uh, represent, uh, EU representing uh, locations. And yeah, uh, they have weekly meetings like every other society is uh, this, uh, related to the European Union. And sometimes they watch movies or documentaries. Or the, they invite students or other uh, academicians to present on the related topics. And these are some of the photos and the after dinners uh, they had. And these are just examples of some of the events they had. Uh, sometimes the EU Center gives us uh, like events for us to do, but the students themselves sometimes will uh, create events for 
uh, for us to enjoy. And we, they talk about things like the migrant crisis and uh, the Arctic and the EU relationships. And they set up a whole exhibition in one of our bigger halls in the school. And these are just photos of some of the representatives from uh, like ambassadors and representatives from uh, EU related uh, offices. And these are pictures of some of the field trips they've taken. And yes, the society offers food as well. Uh, so yeah, uh, so this is it for the SC and the society introductions. Uh, so if you're interested, uh, you can talk to us later. Uh, thank you very much.